Hi, church. We are so excited to see some light at the end of the tunnel, and we can't wait to be with you again soon. And we wanted to take just a moment to inform you of our plans as a church to begin the process of reopening. So your staff and your church board have had multiple discussions about what it's going to look like and our plan to reopen. And we're committed to staying flexible as things change and as they have uh, these last 45 days or so, so rapidly. But we recognize that we're anxious to be together again as a church. And so every decision that we make uh, in regards to reopening, those decisions are going to be made through two filters. And that first filter is safety, and the second filter is unity. And Pastor Evan is going to talk to you about uh, safety. Yeah, we know that we have an obligation to make decisions that help keep our people and our community safe. And so we uh, will follow government protocol because we believe that they have educated and experienced voices that are seeing real time data. And knowing that we have many vulnerable, vulnerable people in our congregation, we want to do our best to keep everyone safe. Yeah, and in, in the early stages of reopening, the government's going to recommend that that vulnerable population uh, stay sheltered in place and make sure they are safe. And so when we think about safety, we also think about unity. And we don't want to reopen our live worship time and our live services together until we can reopen it for everyone. And we want to stay united and we just feel like that's really important. And so because we can't do uh, kind of full-time video ministry and at the same time go full-time with live ministry, we're going to uh, build our reopening plan so that it's the same for everyone and we can move together towards reopening. We've been isolated together and now we're going to reopen together. So safety and unity really are key for us. Yeah, and what we'll do is those will continue to drive as for all the decisions that we make and and we will make those with in light of our city's timeline of three phase reopening. You've probably heard a lot talked about in the phases and we will act accordingly. So we will comply with the city of Sepulpa's dates, um, but for the most part, we don't know what those dates are. We know that May 1st is set for phase one and what we really won't see a change for that um, for us as far as worship services. We will continue to send out videos and safety will be our, our top priority. But for phase two and three, the dates that we don't have yet, things will look different. Brady, what's going on with phase two? So as we get to phase two, we are going to continue with video worship and weekly encouragement. And so if you know somebody who isn't able to watch us online, but they could watch us on a DVD, please let us know and we'll make sure to get them a DVD. But the, the step that we're going to take in phase two is we're going to organize into small groups. According to our four by four community challenge groups, we're actually going to create some small groups and those small groups, we're going to encourage them to meet on Zoom and to discuss the Sunday morning worship service together. There'll be some questions and just time for interaction and prayer, a time to come together as a group. And if there are groups that people don't have access to Zoom, then as long as that group is smaller than 10, then they could begin to meet in people's homes and maybe watch the service and discuss it together there in the homes. And we are going to be providing people, if they need it, some training on how to get Zoom on your phone or on your computer so you can be involved. Because um, we want everyone to really plug into a small group in phase two. And then lastly, in phase two, the church office begins to reopen slowly a couple days a week. And so we'll begin to reopen kind of the, the weekly routine of the church office as well. For phase three, that's when live worship services resume. Those will be family worship services. We'll continue to put out our midweek video encouragement, um, but some 
safety and precautionary measures will still need to be in place. And so that means that during phase three, there will be no children's church or nursery. We won't be passing the offering plates or having in-service greeting times. Of course, we'll continue to take some physical distancing measures with chairs and in the lobby, and our cleaning protocol will continue to be enhanced, but our normal um, office hours will resume. Good, and then phase four is what people are calling the new normal, and that's kind of setting into a new normal routine, which even the normal is going to look different for us. But in phase four is when live midweek services continue, and that's when Children's Church will also resume on Sunday morning. And then in phase four, that new normal, men's ministry, women's, TNT, 50s and wannabes, student ministries, all of those ministries will begin to uh, meet as they originally had scheduled to meet and we'll be able to gather together in, in those separate ministries as well. Again, we are so looking forward to the time when we can be back together, but we really want to do that when we can do it safely for everyone. And so we want to stay unified throughout this. Um, the quick recap of the phases. Um, one, our online ministry will continue in phase two, whenever that rolls out. Um, we'll really have a small group focus in phase three. Our live uh, weekend worship will continue. And then under that new normal, things will start to look kind of like normal again. Yeah, in, and so as we said before, we don't know the dates on when the city of Sepulpa is gonna uh, roll out these different phases. Um, and if you're interested in, in looking at the phases, just Google the White House a reopening phase plan and you can see the details there. But what we do know is we see some light at the end of the tunnel and there's progress being made. And if we each do our part to continue to act safely and minimize our risk, then we're going to get to the end of these phases even quicker. And so I just want to say thank you for uh, taking the advice of the, the government that is guiding us through this and our local officials and just being as safe as possible to ensure not only your own safety, but the safety of our church community in general. And so I am really optimistic that uh, we are getting closer to being able to meet together again. And we don't know those dates yet, but we do have a plan. And that plan is according to the phases that are going to roll out soon and so we want you to be encouraged we want you to know that you're not alone that you're loved and you're prayed for and that we're going to get through this together so thanks for watching spread the word we've got a plan and we're working together with the officials in our community to be safe and to continue to be unified as a church we love you guys bye